Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, and let's talk about what's going on in the Western Pacific today. There's nothing organized at this time, but we do have a cold surge off towards north. That's what all this kind of purple is indicating here. It's actually cold air coming in, creating some lake effect, or excuse me, sea effect uh, there across parts of Japan. We have the easterlies, but the high pressure ridge continues to dominate. And really the worst off spot in the entire picture is actually the east, east and southeast coast of Vietnam, where we have this cold surge coming in. You see that here with that cold front. You have that northeast monsoon interacting with the easterlies and basically a weak tropical wave here. And that's just going to bring some heavy rainfall out across uh, areas from Da Nang towards the south. And we've already been seeing some pretty significant flooding in the area. In fact, there was a, a mudslide uh, here just yesterday that killed six. Take a look at this. It's from Ground News. Landslide strikes a bus on Mountain Pass in Vietnam, killing six as heavy rain rain continues to persist across that area and once again it is just this overall moisture flow interacting with the northeast monsoon you get that interaction and it just creates gale force winds creates uh, that persistent rainfall and it's just that classic monsoonal type showers for example if you've never been in the area and you ever watched like Forrest Gump where he says hey it started raining and it just kept raining for months and months and months it, m movie buffs maybe from other parts of the world our friends in Vietnam exactly know what we're talking about here this is it this is that time of year where the northeast monsoon sets up and you get that persistent onshore showers that continue to take place this is a closer look here uh just showing you what we're talking about the denang grade right in here towards the south up and down the east coast i would give that like a red rainfall warning in that specific area and then you can see this area indicating the white line that's our shear line setup which actually extends back to northern areas of the philippines or parts of cagayan in northern areas of Luzon really seeing those showers continue to kick in as well. So yeah, you know, you got a little bit of a one-two punch here, that northeast monsoon coming in like that. You see those showers up and down the east coast right there. Yeah, that's that's the hot spots, at least for the time being. And here's a look at the waves as well. You just see that flow bursting right in. And you see this massive swells across the West Philippine Sea out here towards Luzon Strait. Um, northern areas of the Philippines looking at that rainfall. Now, a lot of people have also, of course, and naturally, I get it, asking me about what about the long-range forecast, Robert? What, what, what could we see there? Well, at least for the time being, you know, the, the ensembles, the GFS specifically, does continue to show some stuff here about the 24th to the 25th and it actually it's kind of interesting because it has been rather consistent on the 24th or the 25th and we take a look at the google deep mind it also has something on the 24th to the 25th now mind you there's nothing really out here right now yeah i mean you got what this little cloud cover but if if we were looking out seven days we'd actually probably be looking out closer to this area not to the you know one closer to the philippines oh my goodness um so at this point there's no initialization area there's no invest area and it's just the gfs and even the deep mind showing some of this long range kind of output but at least for the time being i would continue to say hey let's monitor it here's the 23rd 24 from the gfs showing this big trough but in the end it also could just be the same thing that's happening in vietnam where you have the easterlies setting up like that and then you get another cold surge kicking in from the north that causes that interaction rotation and creates a bit of a cold surge in a northeast monsoon interaction and thus, you know, it, it, it may not be an organized full on big bad storm system, but still stuff like that can cause some flooding and uh, time and time again, it often does result in the risk of some flooding. So you don't mess with that. Make sure you stay safe. And that's always the number one thing here with these Western Pacific weather updates to educate keep you smart actually the graphic below me right here you can follow it at uh, western pacific weather on facebook actually is talking about um you know how flooding and water kills a lot more than wind especially when we're talking about tropical cyclones all right as always though thanks for watching friends i hope you are staying safe out there hope you're having a great day um didn't do an update yesterday just because things are kind of calm so let's take a deep breath here reset and hopefully we don't get any more storm systems throughout the rest of this cyclone season, typhoon season. I mean, typhoon season never really ends in the Western Pacific, just mind you. So, yeah. But hopefully things do stay calm for the, the time being. Stay safe out there, okay?